Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I'm here today to do my catch-all home plan with me. Um, this is where I am with this planner. I'm still in the process of setting up. It's an ongoing thing. This is the free Christmas countdown printable that is available on my website at scrapcraftastic.com. And I'm just using some of the clip art that I also have available on the website as cover-up stickers for the countdown. This is the Black Friday dashboard, which is part of a collab between Scrap Craftastic and Coco's Vision. This dashboard is available at cocosvisionshop.com. You can use my code Rochelle20 to save 20% off your order. And I haven't started doing my planning for Black Friday yet, but I do have all my printables printed and ready to go. So hopefully sometime over the weekend, I will have time to go in and fill out what my game plan is. I already know I'll be shopping at Coco's Vision. I will be shopping at Crafting by the Pound and I will be shopping at JDM Brooklyn. There's a couple of others that I will be shopping at but those three definitely I will be there. Um, so I need to fill out what I want from each one and all that information. And these come in planner shops. Let me show you the other ones. See, I have plenty of planner shops because that's where I'll be shopping. Um, online shopping or online and then retail. So depending on whether you're doing e-commerce shopping or brick and mortar shopping, you have inserts that will work either way. Um, and I already did this Thanksgiving-esque spread because I was excited for November and I wasn't over the pumpkins from Halloween yet. So... I kind of jumped into that already and then on this week I went with more of a subtle um, fall-ish spread and this week I just left all that behind let's take this out I left all of that behind and just went with something unusual that I normally wouldn't do um, and this dashboard is actually a perk it's a printable digital perk that is available to Patreon Plus members. So I printed it out and I used one of the new Word tabs. This is a top tab to fit half letter. So it goes all the way across where the other ones that I've made, I, I made them so that they would work in any planner. Well, these are designed specifically to work on half letter. So I was kind of testing those out there. Um, but again, this is a uh, Patreon Plus perk only. So if you want this set of graphics, you'd have to be a Patreon member at patreon.com slash scrapcraftastic. And also, this week's spread was done on ARC notepaper. This was not a weekly insert. We kind of turned it into that. So I was trying to decide if I wanted to jump into using that paper again or if I want to go back to using my inserts. Let's do a little measuring here. Since this ruler is an inch, this is another reason why I love this ruler. It's an inch and a half wide. So all I have to do <laughs> is mark the width of the ruler. And that's the same width of the planner stickers. So yeah, we could easily do... Um, vertical spread. I think we're going to jump in and do that again this week. So I'm going to just start with the back side of this and get another sheet from my other ARC notebook. Let's, get, let's take a couple of sheets out of here in case we want to do more spreads this way. Because I do have a couple of other ideas of spreads. So I'm just going to stick these right in here. In case we want to continue with the art note paper. And I pulled out these washies already to work with. So they're not traditional fall colors, but I think they kind of have a fall vibe, more like jewel tones, earthy. I don't know. It just seemed to work. So I'm going with these. No more orange and brown. If you want to see some orange and brown, I did use one of my printable kits 
on my food diary spread so it's thoroughly Thanksgiving vibe over there so I will link to that in the I card up above so you can go check that out if you're interested okay so since we started our measuring and I'm lining my ruler up with the line that's already on the paper and just to mention if you are ruler challenged let's get something washy to make our lines um, I have a video up the anatomy of an inch how to draw a straight line with a ruler you can go check that out and I give some tips to kind of help you um, Ooh, I kind of like that but it doesn't really match does it but it gives you some um, tips on how to do that so it's probably worth checking out maybe I should just stick with black It's so easy to do though. Mm. I wonder if this purplish color would work. It's either this or this. There is some red in that washi tape. So I think I'm gonna go with that reddish color and hope for the best. I don't think I've ever even used this color so let's go for it and with this I'm not I don't think I need to draw a line let's go ahead and draw it just in case I'm just doing it really really light where I even I can barely see it and just place the washi right on that line where did it end I hope that's right. And you could, if you don't have a Tim Holtz ruler, you could also um, use the folding method. And I will try to find that video where I show how to do it for vertical uh, planning. But you can use that method also. So I'm going to line it up with this side. Let's draw a visible line this time. And go right over it with the washi tape. And I didn't go all the way up. Oh, and I should have, so since I didn't do it on that one, I'm not gonna do it on this one either. Line it up on the edge and I skip the top line. So let's do that over here. Line it up. That's a little issue because it covers up one of the holes. And I don't want to have to repunch because it never ever comes out right for me. I just had to use this green washi. That's not too horrible. So now we gotta deal with this at the top, but I think our dates will take care of that and I need to split this area into two. So I'm just gonna do a little dent in my paper to show me where the center of those two are. 
and run a piece of this washi through there. I wonder if I ran the black washi up there. The Simply Gilded washi. I know I'm just going nuts with the washi, but to bear with me. Let's see. Is that going to make that pop? Yep. So I'm just going to put it on that line right there. Yeah, I'm going to do the phone memo thing. I don't want to use any of my stickers this week. Um, and where am I going to get the dates from? I know where dates I'm going to use. So, okay, I got the phone memo on. I'm going to find my app. Turn on the app. But I'm just going to go to print images and find... I have so many images since I did that. I may not be able to find it. Wow, there they are. Let's open that up. Let's make it a little smaller. And print allow. Okay, print. So there are my days of the week. If you're interested in a faux memo, I will leave the link in the description box below as I look for my scissors. Where are my other scissors at? Oh, here they are. I like to use the longer scissors when I'm cutting because I, so I can get a straighter line with one whack. Okay, I'm going to use one of these digital dolls from JDM Brooklyn. I was thinking of using the girl with the green shirt. Um, but she's not really the right color green. I think she might be better. Uh, and she will go right here. Do I want her to go all the way to the bottom of the page? Or to the side of the washi? What's going on Friday? Oh, Friday is Black Friday. Hmm. I better lean her more towards... Well... I think I got room for my plans. So there's no school. This week, I need to uh, note ballet. It's a hurricane makeup day, so um, it's gonna be a chill week, though. And it's a special time. So I'll fill all of that in. There's something else I'm supposed to do Monday. Oh, I need to go to the post office. I sold my first item on Macari today, like at 1.40 something this morning. And so I gotta take that to the post office. Do I wanna put a box under that? No, I don't think that's necessary. Just let it hang off in the margin a little bit. 
And then Tuesday, I have an appointment. I'm gonna use these. I was gonna save them, but I'm gonna go ahead and use them. Save them for what? Don't save. Let's put this, get this countdown going. I'm not gonna put it at the very bottom. Maybe I should move the ballet sticker. I think I will. So it's time to give thanks. Hands cramping up. What did I drink? Oh, I know what it was. Not like it's a whole lot happening this week. So <sighs> kind of want to go back and add this, but I don't have any room for them. But that'll have to do. Use my colorful boxes. just a little bit then I'm gonna take one of some stickers that I recently haul that I haven't even put up yet and take this little stethoscope and put it in the box and then I can fill that in later I need to be doing some cooking on Wednesday so where's my JD in Brooklyn cooking doll? I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of cooking, just a little bit for us. I talked about all of that in <laughs> my um, food diary plan with me. But to make a long story short, I'm not cooking for Thanksgiving, not really. Just a little bit for me and the babies. Do I want to use her or do I need the one that's facing the other way? Let's see. I always do that. Pull up the wrong sticker. There we go. Yep, that way I can put her more in the margin. So Wednesday will be cooking. I had no idea what I'm going to be doing Friday. Saturday or Sunday. There's no ballet. Don't have to do anything. I need to come up with a plan. I definitely know what we'll be doing Thursday though. Trash days are different days. So they're coming for trash on Friday. Recycling on Saturday. So let me put that down because I will definitely forget. So trash on Friday, and I got a little sticker that says trash day. Uh, oh, got all my stickers mixed up. I need to put these away. I just recorded a haul video, so look for that. Wednesday while you're chilling, relaxing. Oh, let's put clean CPAP. Wednesday. That's an early morning gig, but I'll put it right here. Okay, so here we go. These are the ones from Made with Southern Love. I'm going to use this laundry basket right here on Tuesday. Just put it about midday because oh it has a trash can already on there so I'm not gonna use that one this time 
Um, and I probably won't be doing a grocery pickup. Okay. So let's stick with the crafting by the pound trash cans. This is for recycling, which is Saturday. And is there anything else in here I need? I've done all the shopping, picked up all the stuff that I forgot to get. Um, yeah, this week it's just going to be easy, hopefully. Rest and relaxation. Get some binge watching going on. A little bit of work though. I still gotta work a little bit. Make my dad's stuffing and cook the dinner here. I have my appointment here. No school for the week. Go to the post office Monday. Got my trash figured out. Put something down for planning. In my planner. Maybe I'll put shop till you drop on Black Friday since I don't think I have a Black Friday sticker. So she can encourage me to do shopping until I drop. I'll probably go to Starbucks one of these days oh, let's use the one that's already used i hope she still has these in the shop because i really like them so much i need to order some more um, so i just want to put a little notch in this washi tape instead of having to punch it all again that'll help it Go onto the disc at least. So I don't want to do all that punching. Let's pop these back in. This is going to be a true before the pen. So I'm not going to write anything on here yet. I may have to go back and punch. That's not going to work. <laughs> all right, that's it for this week's catch all plan with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. Be sure to check the community tab and my stories for updates throughout the week. Also, check us out over at patreon.com slash scrapcraftastic for more exclusive content. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.